Okay, we didn't. Oh god, I did not. I didn't mean to grab a balloon, but um, uh, this is a great start to the video. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my video so today i'm going to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can finish ready's quest really easily ready's quest is also the seashell quest whichever you would like to call it so one of my friends allison thankfully she let me borrow her account since she has not done the quest yet and i'm going to be doing the quest on here and showing you guys some tips and tricks because i realized that i already finished this quest on both my alt which is zoe's account and my account so i was just like oh my god how am i supposed to show you guys these things if i can't even do the quest so thank you so much allison for letting me use your account and just borrow it really quickly for this video i really appreciate it and anyways i'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks so make sure to hit that like button that subscribe button and that notification bell if you have not done so already and let's get on to the video so i do know a big portion of you guys might have already completed this quest but if you guys are like stuck on it that's kind of why i wanted to make this video plus it was really requested like in my comment section i saw a lot of like please help me do the seashell quest and i was just like hmm this seems to be more of a problem than Vianchi's quest so if you guys didn't know this is ready's quest just make sure to click on her and then you will get this little pop-up i've already found one but i'll be showing you guys some tips right now so i don't know if you have noticed but i'm just gonna go try to find a shell really fast oh okay here here is a good example oh my god i love oh i forgot this the jams animation pack is the jump so cute okay so if you guys see here there's a little laser beam and usually you wouldn't see something like this come out of the ground on a map you know that's not normal well this is for ready's quest basically if you see a laser beam and it goes through the ground and there is no shell on the surface that means that the shell will be in the sewers so i feel like a lot of people have a hard time with finding the shells in a sewer and one of my first tips is sadly one of my first tips to find the shells in the sewers is to um have the crystal ball another way is you could just go throughout the entire sewer maze and just go through every single door like you did with the code for the puppy quest it honestly doesn't take too long the maze isn't even that big but i do say having the crystal ball in this quest is a big advantage so once you have found a laser beam on top and you can see that it's going through the ground i would recommend if you have the crystal ball to just go into the area on the ground of where you see it and then just keep following it down and as you can see it's still glowing into the sewers so if i continue going down i can see the shell right here obviously i have to take my physical avatar to get down here so i just need to keep in mind which sewer door is closest to this laser beam so for me it will be on my left so i'm just gonna follow the chain here and just continue going towards my left until I find the exit so I have an idea oh there's another one here <laughs> so I have an idea of where to go and if I continue going oh wait there's another one <laughs> wow there's she's a lot in the sewers okay so you guys can see that I found the exit and if I want to I can retrace my steps with the crystal ball just so I have an idea of where to go in order to get all three of these shells since there are three basically on the way to the one where we just found so as you can see it's right here it's pretty easy to remember and then i can just go there so sadly that tip is mainly for people with the crystal ball game pass please keep in mind that you can just go throughout the entire maze however having the crystal ball in this instance is definitely easy um i know not everyone has robux and it can be hard to get some so i completely understand if you don't have it and you know that's always fine so let's see if we can find the shell okay where is it ah here it is okay so no, so that was one of my tips and we're gonna take a look at some locations where some people may have difficulty finding like your last few shells so let's say you scout most of the map up and below even in the sewers that's what i feel like people have problem with this one because it's in the sewers and on the entire town some spots that i feel like a lot of people miss or just don't know the shells spawn there are these kind of spots so if you guys did vianchi's quest and you might have an idea that something spawned where the train is and i'm actually curious to see if she has a shell over here let's see oh wait she does <gasps> wait what oh <gasps> okay so as you guys can see here this is a perfect example perfect so i just got a shell from the train area oh wait is there another one right here oh <gasps> oh wait it goes all the way down here so as you can see the laser beams are pretty useful in this instance that is what 
kind of makes Ready's Quest easy, but hard at the same time since it is in such a vast area. I would definitely try to keep your eyes peeled for those beams. It's not really hard to miss. So, so one area that I would definitely say to check is the train station area. Like sometimes they might even spawn all the way back here, but you should be able to see the beam at this point. If you flew like right here, you should be able to see the beam. But I'd say check at the train station area. Another place I'd say to check is actually in front of these billboards or posters. So I don't I don't know if she has a shell that has spawned there, but I do know some people couldn't find their last shell because they hadn't realized that the shell spawns in front of these. So I think I have found a shell that spawns right in front of this one right here. So it, it's basically just how we've seen the shell has a beam. It's just when you're like walking on the ground, you don't tend to look up like that. Like I don't even know if you could see the beam if it was right there. So keep in mind that it may spawn in front of billboards. Oh, oh my god, here's another shell. And also another recommendation that I would recommend is if you don't have the crystal ball, a good way to make a makeshift crystal ball is to go into first person point of view. Yes, you will have your mouse. However, if you fly around, it kind of feels like the crystal ball. Like you can be your own crystal ball. And what the good thing about this is, is that if you happen to find a shell while in this perspective, all you have to do is ram your body into it and you will get the shell. Unlike the crystal ball, you have to bring your avatar there in order to get it. So I feel like that is a pretty good tip. I don't know if some of you guys are already doing that, but just in case, you guys weren't um then we have that so besides the posters and the trains i feel like another very commonly missed spot is the ticket booth so i have actually got in one of my shells to spawn right in here and i couldn't see it because the laser beam if you guys see here like it it kind of gets hidden because there we have these builds on top of it like the little roof and the little ticket roof so i say to just check in here even for Vianchi's quest just to check in here to make sure because you might not be able to see it but just it doesn't hurt to just go in here and check so let's a little quick recap make sure to check in here and the train stations on either sides both sides please and also make sure to check in front of the billboards and posters another place that some people may miss is actually these little gate areas in between so you can go into most of them i do believe so like this one you can walk into yeah so sometimes there are shells in there but people just miss it because if they have the flying game pass and they're speeding because they're trying to find the shells really fast they just completely miss it and whoosh past it you know and I do want to say that another spot for shells are is this area. You should be able to see the light beam because, you know, this is a pretty open area. Maybe the trees might cover it slightly, but it should be not that hard to find. Another location that really tripped me up when I was trying to find my shells for Ready's Quest is actually the, um, the balls that drop for the New Year's event. So right here, if you can see... Oh! I can't land on there so basically right here a shell could spawn on this ball but what's even harder is that a shell could spawn all the way up here yes I found one of my shells all the way up here and I was just like hmm why don't I check up here because like I didn't check up here so that's what I feel like a lot of people miss this spot especially because it's just so high you can hardly see the laser beam speaking of laser beams I think I saw one right here oh see look guys it's not that hard to miss see look you can see that there's a shell right here oh this is a pretty good example see there's a shell that spawned right on top of this star so make sure to check the stage area as well and check for those laser beams as you guys can see i've already found eight shells throughout the entire time i was explaining and talking about certain areas i do believe allison has a few more in the sewers i do not know why she has so many in the sewers though oh my god look at this there's one right here uh okay i'll probably go down later oh look guys there's another one so basically like I said, you can just go into the sewers and try to locate it. See, this is really close to the sewers right here. So I'm going to try to go in and find it really, really fast. You know, I'm going to show you guys that I can find these shells without the crystal ball. So I'd say that the shell's in here somewhere. Ah, oh, I am correct. Look at me. I'm so good at this. And then let me see. Is it in here? Oh, <gasps> look at that, guys. I literally just found two. So this is what I think is helpful for the sewers. Go above, like I said before, and just locate the beams. And then have a, like, 
idea of where it could be in the sewer maze it's it's not that hard like i feel like people at this point we have done so many quests in the maze like the puppy um the puppy quest and like finding the chest down there so i i'm honestly very familiar with the maze at this point but it could just be me but i would say if you don't have the crystal ball it doesn't take too long to find the shell so do not be like discouraged to finish this quest because it's really not that hard so i think that is all my tips that i have in order to complete ready's te uh test yeah ready's test ready's quest <laughs> oh my god i swear i can't speak english but if you guys happen to have any more tips and tricks please comment down below and i might do a part two or just incorporate into vianchi's one if you guys still want me to make a tips and tricks video on vianchi's quest please let me know because i do know that there's probably a lot on youtube at this point so if you guys don't want it anymore that is completely fine if you guys still want one of the Yonji's quest, please let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. And if you guys need help on any other quests, please make sure to check out my YouTube channel because I think I have covered almost every quest so far. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.